and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to play with my uh, watercolors and my new and first stamping stamp, stamp block and ink. Um, I've never done this before. I'm using my new beautiful um, silver brush, black velvet uh, paint paintbrush, watercolor brush, and I'm so thrilled to have this. And when I'm gonna play around with this, um, I'm gonna use the Daniel Smith red iron oxide color, and it's actually stupid to use this uh, expensive watercolor to play around with but I just feel like it anyway my plan is to take these uh, art trading cards and stamp the um, swatch stamp on for all my watercolors but I'm not gonna stamp everything today so I'm like the kind of person who, you know, before you do it for real, I need to test out the things first. So that's what I'm going to do on this piece of paper with a brush and this color. And yeah, so I chose the, this VersaFine ink because it said on the back that it was perfect for using watercolors uh, to color stamp, yeah. So I thought that that's good because I'm gonna use watercolor on it, yeah. So, mm -hmm. nice. And the box block here. Yes. So these two. I ordered from a Swedish web store and this beautiful stamp I've ordered from the waffle flower in America and they even wrote a, per a little personal message there uh, they seem to have a lot of nice stamps I wish I had some of those stamp machines and stuff yes okay so since I don't know how this works, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, and that long, big sigh. So I want it to be centered and straight. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Let's roll with it and I guess I'm gonna do like this I want some more up there let's let's give it a try yeah not so bad. So what do you do next? Do you have to... So I understand now it has to dry. But do you clean these stamps? Huh. I don't know. How does it work? Tell me. Uh, I think I need to call my sister for that. Yes. 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 So I do have some colors here. 
just feel like feel like trying this just so <clears throat> I'm no expert here, right? But if I understand the stamp correctly, so this one here is going to be like the full paint. And here you grade it down from strong to uh, very light. And here you write the name of the color and which brand it is and most important the pigment color the pigment number and whoops this paint has pigment number six it's a very small text but it says like right there So you write that down and sometimes paints have a mixed pigmentation. And the waffle flowers had made a video about uh, you can get this stamp um, cut up in, in different uh, like you can get this uh, square by itself and this by itself and this by itself so you can mix around as you like. And they said that these symbols, they're going to make a video explaining these symbols m more carefully, but they haven't released one of those yet. So the G stands for granulation and T, I guess, for transparent and S for staining and the LF is the light fast. Right. So then you have to, you know, look it up on um, um, on the internet what uh, information it is. Uh, for example, on this color it says light fast light fastness I or one. And it doesn't tell me very much, so I guess I will have to research that. Because this is like for the Daniel Smith. Um, it doesn't mean that the M grams, M grams, like this, it doesn't mean that they have the, the, the same system. It, it actually says light fastness one on this one as well. But I know that the Mamer Blue, they use those, you see there's stars there. Let me bring it up a little bit closer. So there's five stars there. But I did check up the, the Mamer Blue um, watercolor brand. And you see that there is, maybe you don't see that, but there is three uh, stars. So that means it's maximum light fastness and they only have their colors one to three so I don't know if yeah I have no idea I have to try to um, research it so now I'm just gonna play around and try the color So, maybe a flat brush would be easier. It's such a beautiful color. I know that uh, the silver brushes, the black velvet, they hold a lot of water.
and I'm using very cheap watercolor paper as well and it's not recommended so if you're gonna start uh, playing with watercolors everyone recommends to you know uh, invest in good paper so It's too much, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. They're uh, out cutting something. I don't know what. Oh, yeah. No, he's uh, using a machine to blow leaves away. Getting a background here, I don't know. So that is something I I really need to practice is to gradiate the watercolor. But I don't know, I think uh, the background starts just uh, when the paint has dried too much. So this, I would say, is not a full... Um, it covers the black some, you see that black line? So it's not completely transparent. I would say maybe semi. But I'm, I'm not sure. I'm no expert, as I said. So that is how you would use that, I think. And then you take one of the pencils and it says something with... So it's a PBR6 and the light fastness is 1 and I, I don't know what how much that is here. It's a Daniel Smith and the name is Red Iron Oxide. And you'll then take your cone and uh, red iron oxide. Daniel Smith. So it is a granulated, it's granulating. It looks like I'm having a background there, right? So I'm going to fill this in. And it says that it's half transparent, as I said. So I'm going to fill half. And it actually doesn't say if it's a stained. Non-staining. So I'm not going to fill. Yeah. So what can we, what can we do?
Yeah, well, um, I wanted to show the stamp anyway. Um, and uh, I, I need to find out how you treat those stamps. Um, so I won't ruin it. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.